Welcome back MIDI fans, it's Mike Abb with Livid Instruments with a tutorial on how to use the Livid Block MIDI controller simultaneously with Ableton Live and Cell DNA or VJ software. We're going to show you how you can have your VJ clips and your DJ clips mapped to the exact same buttons and knobs at the same time. So when you go to trigger one of your audio clips a video clip will simultaneously trigger and the same with effects in Ableton and the effects in Cell DNA. What I've done in Ableton Live is I've created a basic 8 track template and I've put 16 tracks, 2 tracks per bay. In Cell DNA I've created 16 video clips to correspond with the 16 audio clips and I've put in a eight additional clips in Cell DNA just for this demonstration mapped to the eight monitor mutes at the bottom of my uh, block controller and in Ableton Live. The block controller is uses LEDs to visually represent what clips you have triggered. So it's a really nice way to stay with your music and with your clips especially in the dimly lit clubs because this is an ideal scenario for those traveling musicians or weekly guys who just want to travel with minimal gear but get a lot out of it I just show up to the club with my laptop and my block controller and I can send an output to the video projectors or TVs at the club and I can send audio out to the soundboard and so when I go to the club, I can have a, a real multimedia performance demonstrating my video and the audio that I hand selected. So on the block controller, I have set up these two buttons on the side to be my playhead triggers in Ableton. So I've already triggered Bay 1. So we'll go ahead and bring in Monitor 1 and watch as the corresponding VJ clip triggers at the same time. Now I have this fader also assigned to the cross fader in Livid Cell. So I can fade in between the last clip I selected and my current clip. Now if you have your playhead trigger set to none, or no time at all in Ableton, you can put in raw tones and do something like this. I also have effects set up in Ableton to correspond with these eight rotary knobs at the top of the block controller the same point in cell DNA it has eight available effects that I also have mapped to the eight available faders and or I mean rotary knobs on the block controller so at any point in time I can affect the video and the audio at the same time depending what effects I have up and going And mind you, Cell DNA has a number of effect banks, so you can constantly change your effect banks to reset a whole new set of effects for your rotary knobs. Bad mind, bad mind. You can really see that easily there. I've got a warp set up in Cell DNA and a Redux in Ableton, both mapped to this same rotary knob. 
So when I twist it, you'll hear the, the bit level go down in the audio and the video begin to tweak out too. See, but also you can have a longer clip in here and just focus on playing some VJ clips. So if I was to trigger an MP3 that I had that was longer, and then I can focus just on other VJ clips. As long as I have my monitors muted, now I can play all of these. So you can see there that you can really just be limited by your own creativity because you can put in any amount of audio clips basically into Ableton and you've got, I don't know, something like 64 banks of 64 clips available in cell DNA. So depending on your hard drive space and the amount of program you want to do in, in the front end, you really, really have a great tool and the controller to be able to be multi-mapped like that is just awesome. So anybody out there that's also using their ohm or their block controller for different styles, we'd really like to see them. So as you can see there, that's a way to use the livid block controller and this also works with the ohm controller just the same way to have multiple programs simultaneously mapped to the same controller allowing you to have basically unparalleled control over your media. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate you.